Hey guys, Zuri here. Welcome back to another Top 5 Zombies video. Now, in this one, we're doing the Top 5 Underweighted underweighted yeah underrated wonder weapons in call of duty zombies now quick thing before i start this is going to include wonder weapons as well so i'm not going to exclude wonder weapons for this video because there are in my opinion a lot of underrated wonder weapons if you're unsure of what underrated actually means it's basically where people think a gun is worse than it actually is so coming to the number five spot we have the ray gun mark ii now the ray gun mark ii is sincerely underrated now i know you guys probably don't think it's actually underrated at all but it is very, very good. A lot of people get included in their top five overrated weapons, and I really do not understand why. This gun is almost a one burst kill on like every single round ever. If you've got a whole wave of 24 zombies and you shoot one ray gun mark two bullet into them all, one burst, it will kill them all instantly. I don't understand how people don't like this gun. It is definitely not overrated. It is underrated. It is really beast. Whenever I get this, I take it straight away. I take it for the war machine in the SMR. Uh, it's that good because I really like those two guns. They're really, uh, I think they're the best guns in my opinion. So uh, the ray gun is extremely powerful. It is so beast. This is not to mention that the ray gun Mark II absolutely sounds beast. It sounds like a little child crying. I love shooting it. I, for some reason, I really like the sound of babies crying. What? So coming to the number four spot, we have the Winter's Howl, which is on most Black Ops 1 maps and the remastered versions of Verrucked and all that good stuff. You know what maps it on. Come on, guys. The Winter's Howl is really, really underrated, and I'm going to tell you exactly why. If you are trapped in a corner when you have the Winter's Howl, you will not die. If you have this equipped, you can just shoot it everywhere. And although they haven't got that much ammo, if you shoot it everywhere when you're trapped in a corner, you will not die. The zombies will freeze up, and you will just be able to run out there with smashing their bodies into pure icicles. The Winter's Howl is supremely underrated just because people think it doesn't kill zombies instantly, but it is literally a get out of jail free card. If you have it equipped and you're in trouble, you can just shoot it to run around zombies. If you know you're going to get trapped, you can shoot it and then destroy the zombies. Just spam it a couple of bullets into it just to make sure they're actually frozen, and then you can actually just run through them and you will not have any trouble at all. So make sure you pick up the Winter's Howl if you see it in the box, because a lot of people do see, see it as a really bad wonder weapon. So I wanted to clarify that the Winter's Howl is actually really good in certain situations. So coming to the number 3 spot, we have the STG-44 from Call of Duty World at War and Origins, I think I believe is a little debut there if you go down into the crazy place. Now this gun isn't necessarily underrated as such, it is definitely underused and I definitely think that this is definitely one of the, I just said definitely twice in two sentences, what am I getting, I can't speak today guys, I'm sorry it's the braces, blame the braces, but guys the STG-44 is very underused and I actually definitely think it's up there with the PBSH in my opinion. The SEG44 has next to no recoil, it sounds like a staple gun so it sounds really awesome when you're shooting it and I just all round think it's a general gun to get points, to kill zombies quickly when it's pack punch it turns into the Spats 44 I believe which is kind of a an awesome gun I guess you could say but I really think the SDG44 is definitely underused as a gun, not necessarily underrated because when people do eventually pick it up, they remember how really amazing it is. But I definitely think it deserves more recognition than it actually has at the moment. So coming to the number two spot, we actually have a tie because they're both really similar guns. But we have the 5.7 Dual World and the C-75 Dual World. Now these guns... It's like having three dicks, obviously one dick being your actual one, and then you've got two on the side, just, you know, just chilling there, shooting zombies, killing bitches. No, no, what? In all of this, these guns are super, super underrated. Now, I know these appeared a lot of top fives, but a lot of people you've been saying on Twitter when I asked you what uh, underrated gun I should put in the last spot, you guys have been saying that I should put the 5.7 in there. And I don't really know why, but I actually played it for myself because I was getting gameplay, and I was like, hmm... These guns are pretty good. <laughs> These guns are pretty good because they look like really shitty pistols. Now, I will admit the 5.7 on its own is a bit meh, but the dual wield, it's like dual wield power, and it's really, really amazing. You've just got both uh, guns just firing into it. Pack a punch, it's literally almost a one shot kill on like round 15 to 20. It's really amazing. You should, guys, really should try it out. Even though you see it in a box, it does look, it's like a pistol, so you're like, oh, it's kind of shit. You should actually really try it out to see what, how you do with it and make sure you pack a punch it to get the full output of it. And the C775 
are the same case as well. They look really cool as well and they sound really cool. They're just really old school guns and I really just like the CZ75s as a whole. So coming to the number one spot guys, we've got the last thing here and we have the SMR. Now I really think the SMR is one of the get best guns in zombies. It's really, really underrated and people don't know it yet. Basically, basically this gun is probably the most accurate gun in zombies as well. When you shoot it, it's an absolute beast. It always hits on target at all. It, it, it is really, really good. You guys should try it out, especially on town. Just aim it at wall and shoot it. It's very, very accurate. It has no recoil at all. And it also has a lot of ammo, so you can spend it on killing those zombies. It's definitely an underrated gun that people should take into account when seeing it in a box. Because I know it's a widely disliked gun. But you should definitely give it a go if you can. And also, a close contender was the War Machine. But I decided the SMR is even more underrated. And it's just an all-round gun. I love the way it sounds like a someone having a shit it sounds really amazing as well the whole gun is just really underrated and it's definitely sh it's, it by the community the community slate it and i definitely deserve it doesn't what i i can't even speak it definitely does not deserve to be slated as much as it does you make Take, for, take it from the box next time and see for yourself if it's actually really good because in my opinion it is one of the best guns in zombies. So thank you so much guys for watching. If you did enjoy make sure you give that video a like button. Sorry if this is a bit shorter than usual. I'm trying to make this a bit shorter because the intention span is like for people on this earth uh, is really really short. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video make sure you give it a like. If you're new here make sure you click that subscribe button and check out my other videos. I do lots of zombies content. Going to be doing Black Ops 3 when it comes out in November as well so make sure you stick around for that. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.